Hello everyone, welcome to Cloud Infrastructure Services YouTube channel and in today's video we'll talk about how to set up or install soft Ether VPN server on Windows Server 2019 in AWS. First of all, come to this page or this image. I'd put the link in the description of this video. So it will take you to the AWS marketplace for the image of soft Ether VPN. Click on continue to subscribe and if you go with this image, you will have all those prerequisites and all those things that you might need to use soft ether as pre-installed into your windows server 2019. Now click on continue to configuration and now we'll create an instance. Leave everything as it is and click on continue launch. Now from here under the choose action section, click on this drop down arrow and go with launch through EC2. Click on launch and now it will open EC2 management console. From here, we'll create a new instance for our Windows Server 2019. You can name it anything. I'll name it as Ether. And after that, scroll down. Down here, we have a key pair and we have to add our key. Either you can choose an existing one as I already have one with the name of Zubair. And in case if you do not have one, create a new one because you have to have a file for your key in order to access your password that we are going to do ahead in this video. From here, name your key anything and click on create key pair. It will download a file for you. So keep that file safe. After that, leave everything as it is and click on launch instance. It will create your instance and it will take a few seconds. So we'll wait for it and then we'll move ahead. We are done and here it says success. Now click on view all instances. It will open your management console and here we have all the instances that we are using or we have used previously. Here if you see the status it says initializing and will wait until and unless it is into the running state and all the checks are done. So let's wait for it and then we'll move ahead. So we are done here and our instance is running. Right click here and click on connect and from here click on get password. Well, in your case, it might show you something else. Do not worry. Just wait for five minutes more and then come back to this window. Now, here we have to give the file for our key pair. If you remember, the name of my file is zubair.fem. So I'll just click on choose file and I'll double click on my key. Now just click on decrypt password. So here we have everything that we need. First of all, just copy this public DNS. After that, look for remote desktop connection into your windows. Now paste the DNS that you had copied earlier. Click on connect and now write the name here and that is administrator which is right here. So I'll write here administrator and then in terms of my password, I'll just copy this password. I'll paste it in here, click on OK and if everything is OK, it will show you something like this. Do not worry, just click on yes. And now it will create a remote connection with our Windows Server 2019. And now it is opening it up. So here we have Windows Server 2019. Let it open and then we'll move ahead. So it is up and running. Now click on this soft ether VPN server manager. So I'll just double click on it. Now in here, click on new settings. And from here, give your setting any name. I'll give it as ether. And after that, here we have to give the host name. For host name, we have to go back to our instance and click on your instance and from here, copy the public IP address. I'll just copy that and just paste it right here. After that, select your port number. You can go for 443, which is by default, or you can choose 3389. I'll go with the default one that was 443. After that, click on OK. Now, select your setting and then click on Connect. Here, we have to set a new password. So I'll write my new password. After that, we need to confirm it and click on OK. Here it says password has been changed. So here we have different things that we can do. For example, we have remote access VPN server, side to side VPN server. So with remote access server, as the name suggests, we can access the existing ethernet segments remotely. And with side to side, we'll be able to use a configuration that is side to side. 
Now from here, I'll click on VPS server that accepts connection from other sites. Click on next, click on yes. And here, give the name to your virtual hub. I'll go with this one. And here we have different things that we can perform. After that, just click on connect via proxy server and you can do different other things from here. You have option of TCP IP, HTTP, we have proxy socks as well. I'll just exit from here and here it says enable L2TP server function and down here we have one more option. Go with the one as per your liking and click on OK. And from here if you see here it says status is not connected. For that purpose we have to click on enable VPN as you. Now you will see it will change the status to connected. Now here we have to create the bridge so just click on this drop down arrow and click on ethernet and click on close now click on ok and here we have our server manager and here we have different things that we can perform for example you can edit your configuration you can have information about your vpn server you can view your server status and we have encryption and network and do not worry i'll put the link of an article in the description of this video from where you can find all the details and all the instructions about what this server is and how to use it and how we can create different connection for site to site and for remote connections as well and that brings us to the end of this video if you have anything to ask leave a comment below and we'll get back to you as soon as possible and don't forget to check out the page for step-by-step -step guide on how to set up install soft ether vpn server on windows server 2019 in aws and also don't forget to check the image on marketplace links are given in the description and if this video was of any help to you please leave a like subscribe and press the bell icon i'll get back to you in the next video till then take care